Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month inspired look. I really wanted to do something to honor breast cancer awareness and um, so it's all pink, you know, you see all the products and things turn pink in honor of the Ribbon for Breast Cancer Awareness in the month of October. So I wanted to honor that. Um, I know a lot of people who have either had breast cancer or had breast cancer scares in their life. So please get your checkup with your mammogram if you are of age or if anybody in your family has a history of breast cancer. Then if you're a little bit younger, then it's time to start a little bit younger just to make sure that you're okay and healthy and taking care of yourself. So if you are interested in seeing this look right here, it's pink and gold, then just keep watching. Okay, so I am setting my eyeshadow base with a flat matte white from lid to brow bone just to keep our shadows in place all day and give us a nice blank canvas for the rest of our shadows. And then I'm going to take a combination of Peach Smoothie and Chickadee from Makeup Geek. Oh, and then I'm going to put those all over the crease area with a large fluffy blending brush from inner to outer corner all the way just in windshield wiper motions. And I'm just going to keep laying this down until I get the effect that I'm looking for. I really want a more orange base because this is going to help the rest of the colors in our shadows pop as well as giving a nice gradient effect to our shadows. In case you are wondering, my brows are already filled in with the new IT Cosmetics Brow Power Micro Pencils. They are absolutely amazing. Then I'm going in with Mango Tango from Makeup Geek. This is like a peachy pink. It's not a flat matte, but it's more of a satin. And I'm going to use a more tapered blending crease brush for this. Um, this is from Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to focus this more in the socket and a little bit below where we put that combination of Peach Smoothie and Chickadee. We are building this pink and I'm turning the brush um, both directions so I can really get a nice blend with this. Um, so I'm putting it into the crease flat and then I'm turning it sideways to blend as you can see. This is really helpful with this technique to help blend those shadows out and just keep blending and working it into the outer corner and you can blend it a little bit onto the bottom of your lower lash line as well to save you some time later since our face is already done. Now I'm going in with ColourPop a shadow in Lucky. This is the best gold shadow out there on the market by far in my opinion. As you can see it's like a pure like brick gold like amazing. Um, and I just put that right on with my finger and I'm focusing that on the inner corner all the way to the middle of the lid and just building that up till I get the intensity that I want which doesn't take too long with ColourPop shadows if you've ever tried them. And as you can tell this is already just looking really really cool. And then I'm going to use a blending brush to blend this out so there are no choppy edges. You know how we roll. Now I'm taking that same old fluffy blending brush with a little bit more of the peach smoothie and chickadee and just making sure that everything is blended out and going underneath on the lower lash line as well. We just really want to make sure everything looks seamless. And then going back in with that um, Mango Tango just to make sure that we didn't brush too much of it away. We really want to make sure that we still have that pink in the crease. Next up is Orchid. This is a Morphe Brushes shadow. It's really gorgeous. It's like a true Barbie fuchsia. Um, and this is going to be placed on the outer half outer third if you want to say of our lid this is just going to punch up the pink if we put this into the crease it would look a little bit um, crazy like you are sick or something so we're just placing this on to the lid and using the mango tango to blend that out as usual then we're using makeup geeks bitten which looks more like chocolatey brown here but it's really more of a deep 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 burgundy I don't know why the camera's picking it up so like brown, it's strange, but I'm using a very tiny pencil brush. This one is from Makeup Geek. It's my favorite because it's so tiny and I'm focusing this on the outer fourth of the lid and just really trying to accentuate the outer V 
but not bringing it all the way up into the crease too much because that's when you start to look like you have a black eye. You really want to keep this low on the lid and then bringing it along the lower lash line to help make your eyes look larger. I know it's scary to bring color down to your lower lash line, but I promise you this is what makes all the difference. And then taking a little bit more of that orchid shade and punching that up just to blend it out and then re-intensifying the bitten, you know, step by step, just getting it to look the way that you want. And you can customize this to your taste and just keep blending, 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 blending. You know the drill. Then we're going to take Shimmer Shimmer. This is another Makeup Geek shadow. Um, I love using this for a brow highlight. So I'm going to put this underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner to give it a little bit more brightness. And it's just like the perfect color for that. I just really, really love this. This is also a great shade for all over the lid in future reference. And you can kind of see what we have right now. And just blend that out again. You don't want any harshness. And then this is the Essence Gel Eye Waterproof Pencil. This is really great. I got this in my Generation Beauty bag. And I'm just going to put this all over the tight line and the water line. And then a little bit on my upper lash line. And then we're going to blend that out. Have you ever seen a closer shot of your eyeball? I mean, so weird. <laughs> then I'm going in with this Mally Volumizing Mascara. I also got this in my Gen Beauty bag. Um, it's really amazing and really impressed me. And I really like how fluttery it makes my lashes look. So you can see that you don't even need lashes with this look if you don't want. But I'm going to be using the Velour Mink Lashes in uh, Strike a Pose. And I just think these are so pretty and wispy and perfect for this really feminine look. Gorge. I also did um, a little bit of a winged liner with the Jessie's Girl eyeliner pen, um, but I thought I got it on camera, but I guess I did not. I'm sorry. I didn't have the footage of that. So here are we are done with the rest of the face. Again, I thought I had this on camera and I lost the footage. I'm so sorry, um, but it's pretty much just my normal routine. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I didn't do any highlighter today uh, because I used a slightly shimmery blush and I'm just using my normal Italia Deluxe Natural Lip Liner. And this is Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick because I didn't want anything too pink to take away from our pink eyes. I wanted them to be the star of the show. And then I put on a little bit of Mally lip gloss because I thought, you know, my lips needed to pop just a little bit more than they were. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I really wanted to honor everyone for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And if you do try this look out, please tag me on Instagram. And I'd love to see how it looks on you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.